think we need to start you off on your melee journey on the right foot. We are failing you as boys if we are allowing you to enter with Kirby. Hey friends, make sure you check out mine and Jake's Soup podcast where we talk everything melee from the perspective of a veteran, a current competitor, and a complete noob. Yeah, okay, I'll give you the camera. Yeah. Jake was my teacher. I feel like I failed you. I got a feeling this is going to make some interesting combos. In, uh -huh. in my opinion, Homemade waffles. Brandon is like on the the melee Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I would I would agree. Yeah. Who who 100%. who would you put? So there's like four four slots, right? On Mount Rushmore on the on the melee Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Yeah. Who would you put respectively? Like. Mm. So obviously Waff in terms of contribution. So like the melee Mount Rushmore, it's not gonna be top. Like it's not all gonna be top players. It's gonna be people who have offered something to the scene and and like kind of spiraled this this chain of you know like the the roots so i'd say waff is up is is one of the heads uh you gotta put mango there a hundred percent competitor personality all of the above and he's also still around and doing this so six seven by the way that was me on the commentary from genesis 2 he just said what do you feel kevin uh my Mount Rushmore, I can I can say it straight up. We got homemade waffles, uh, mango, fizzy, and Samox. Is it ooh? Fizzy and Samox. Yep, fizzy. I didn't think about fizzy. But fizzy that's... is has brought in the new era for all of us. Yeah, made melee more accessible. Samox, in a similar way, made melee extremely accessible. Mm -hmm. And uh, Samox is the one who directed the Smash Rock. Okay, mm -hmm. sick. Okay, uh, I'm definitely picking up my lore. So I would put him on too because I am going through the Smash Dark as we speak. Yeah, uh, my part time job. But is it controversial to say Ludwig belongs on there as well? Because that's how actually actually I got into melee. Yeah, through his. There are Ludwig heads. Like they're the the, the general. We heads. had the the Doc kids. We had Slippy kids, and now we have Ludwig kids from. From his fan base, who were like, "Oh, what's this game that he came from?" Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this out. Oh, this is a crazy tournament. So many players. Um, I would put him too. See, I was actually put. I was gonna put Armada, but I didn't. I didn't consider like, um, the Samox, the Fizzy. Yeah, I wouldn't put Ludwig on there, but uh, he's contributed a ton. Yeah. Okay, like, may, maybe he's at the visitor center at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think so. Uh, definitely at the visitor center, but like. I think there's a ton of people who like have contributed a lot uh, in like a similar vein. Mm -hmm. But in, if I had to choose four, like I'm only picking one competitor, and it's yeah. gonna be Mango. Mm -hmm. I guess we were like talking before the pod, and then I was like, "Did C9 get lucky signing Mango, or was like he was already he was already signed like at a particular time where Melee was like really popping off? Like I I feel like this is like one of the greatest signings ever. Yeah. Like C9." like saw an opportunity and they just have been reaping the benefits of like for years and i guess like melee as a whole uh having org support because like when when did org start coming into melee so org started coming into melee around 10 years ago like mango was i think like uh one of the first i think he was maybe the second player to mm -hmm. get signed behind uh chillin yeah. And Hungry Box, I think. So they were both on Curse. Curse. And then I think Mango was the third one. Mm -hmm. And by this time, since it's 10 years ago, that's 2014. He's already won an Evo Championship in 2013. Uh, a lot of other players were on really questionable orgs that were like pretty sus. There was uh, something called EMG, mm -hmm. uh, which had Mute King and it had Armada on it. And those were kind of like just like some sketch orgs. And. Uh, I think Curse, which was, I believe, in the LCS at the time, was the first one, and then Cloud9 was the second team to to really do it. And uh, I think, and Curse eventually merges with with Liquid, yeah. And Hungrybox, Leffen, and Mango, to me, are the best signings that those three respective teams have ever made. Like Liquid is getting so much value out of. Hungry Box, Cloud9 is getting tons of value out of out of Mango, and Jack, C9 Jack, even said, like, this is the best signing I've ever made. Yeah. And he's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then same goes for TSM. Like, I, I don't think anyone is, like, uh, 
maybe there's like Imperial Hal or some shit like that. Mm. But I think like Leffen is really like uh, perfect for for all that. No, yeah, and he's, and just, same with those he's an FGC. He's not just melee. He's the FGC guy that they have. Uh-huh. You know, to win to win two Evos and two different games, dude. It's crazy. I don't think we like bro. Just winning winning Evo on its own is such an accomplishment. Yeah. But to pick up another game and just have that knack for understand the assignment, knowing what's good, what's not, how to improve at a rapid pace and win two games, like that's insane, dude. But yeah, Leffen, Hbox, Mango, crazy like they they did take a chance. Like I assume back in 2013 when Melee's finally Evo Mango won, like they kind of did take a gamble. Like they had no idea what the future of Melee was. We'd had no idea. Yeah. It kind of lucked out that the sign the signing of these players on top of the dock with the, you know these new dock kids coming in and then everything just blew up. It compounded. Um I was around I was around I'd say like late 20 20- I was like practicing melee stuff in 2013, but I didn't go to my first tournament until like 2014. So even at that time, um, I could tell that, you know, I was a product of this new wave of of eyes on the game. At, at, at this point in your career, because this is before uh, attending your first event, right? Is that what you said? Or? Yeah. Okay. Were you watching this YouTuber? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Do you have a favorite Uh-oh. video here? <laughs> a favorite video? Yeah. Um the the ledge grab one is is a classic, but that's more than like new ones. So many of those. I'm thinking of the That's so very popular. Uh, you're, oh, it's a Valorant video. Jokes on you. <laughs> I didn't know you had a Valorant video. Yeah, this is interesting. Um I liked your yeah your your shield sap one also uh, the quick one where you talked about how we how different players yeah input efficiency I think that's one of the most valuable ones uh, out of the bunch like yeah you talk about Falco shine there but you're essentially saying that there are okay, what's up guys so, so many different ways of inputting things some better some some harder about, um, dang this is crazy this video was made eight years ago eight years ago. In my college storm, look at that. I have uh, the Steven Universe Drake. I got the gorillas in the back. I got a trippy yellow submarine uh, door poster. And I have the Smash documentary poster right behind me. And I'm hanging socks uh, on the wall that have hamburgers, uh, fries, and hot dogs on it. Wow. In the CLG. So I'd say you're more college college kid than melee oh, for player sure. At, that, oh, that that speak your wall just speaks so much about you it's insane <laughs> it does and the funny thing is at this time i think i'm making 400 dollars a month from clg which is probably not legal but yeah 400 dollars for full time every single month and that was uh to me that means i made it <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, so I the the reason why I was making all these videos actually coincides really well with with what we're talking about with Mango. Uh, it was when the Smash, like Smash and FGC, was at like a really good crossroads because Smash was at uh, Evo, Melee was at Evo, and a lot of people who attend Evo, just like two D fighter uh, folks, like were getting interested in it. And so having played like Street Fighter 4 and I had just learned how to play Street Fighter 4 as my first 2D fighter, I learned that in like summer of 2012, uh, I knew how to kind of bridge the gap. And uh, so all of these videos that I made, like if we go back to the popular page, you don't have to do it. But if we go back there, all my top videos are videos that were like to bridge that gap. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I cashed in at the right time. I, I was telling this to Jake earlier, but... Uh, I wasn't big into like highlight videos and stuff like that. And to me, like it, it would die after some time. Yeah. I was into making like evergreen videos and like things that like eight years later you can still watch yeah. and, and get some value from. And um, it makes me so happy that like people still watch these things. I, I, I bet there's still like new comments here. Let's see. Oh, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Who, who up watching in 2024? Let's see. Six, Six years, years ago. ago. That's, Six a, years that's ago. pretty high. That's only, like I, I look at YouTube analytics. You you have a new viewer now because like I started watching you because yeah uh, yeah it still I, pops up in the algorithm that's like what you said you type in this there's Google Docs of 
all sorts of videos and, and playlists, and more often than not, you'll find some of Kevin's videos lumped in there. Um, yeah, he did cash in the red time. Like I was, I remember watching these when they first came out. I was like, oh my god, like perfect timing. I've I wanted to. He's putting out videos about the things I wanted to learn in the first place. And then you watch this for a minute, and then now uh, coming to signing. So like C9 has Mango, TSM has Levin. In comes FlyQuest with Jake Mook Dorado. I don't know if I can leak your last name. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay. But yeah, how did it, how did it feel to get signed to an org? And then uh, and then eventually you came on, uh, and then now now this is like a really great like FGC crossover episode. Um, hundred percent. Because like you you had a meteoric rise. Oh, yeah. Is that the right word? How do you say that? Let's Google that. Yeah. Me no, you're right. Meteoric for sure. Yeah. Meteoric. Meteoric. Yeah. Like you, I feel like you exploded. At least listening in the car, which we'll show some clips about that in a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, it was cool to hear your origin story because uh, comparing like Kevin's and other Smashers, where they, they kind of like, you, you've been around for a while, but like to, to kind of like make it as a competitor, it, it sounds like you're going to have to go through the mud in the early days. And then for you, it's like you come in, start placing super high, win Genesis in your first year, right? Or Yeah, I was like within a year after being sponsored. Um, yeah, I got, I got signed in uh, summer of 2022, and then I win Genesis, which was in January, um, a few months later. Yeah, the breakout year. tournament was Genesis 8. You got second. Yeah. Making like upset after upset after upset after upset, and then... You get signed a month later to FlyQuest, I think. Yeah. And then 11 months later, Genesis 9 happens and you win it. Yeah. That's Crazy. In Christ. that, so much happened within that time. I, I can't believe that I stuck, I, I stuck with it because I had the inverse journey of most top players. Because that mean? Meaning that, like, yes, I've been around, I've been. You know, almost going at this for almost 10 years mm -hmm. but the average top melee player has a very almost linear kind of curve where they start out they start entering tournaments they get top 64 top 32 they start regularly upsetting these players and it's 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 kind of like this i couldn't do that because i was i was young i couldn't travel mm -hmm. i could only go to events that were within my region and i took those really very seriously like like the regionals for me were like you know, in, in upstate New York, we, the main hub was Syracuse and there would always be regionals. And that would be like, that would be like my major where I would take it so seriously. I would, um, I'd be studying VODs in the back of the classroom and then I would hop on a Greyhound and take a bus up with my friends. Damn. And that was like the bulk of my early traveling experience, but I never got to go to the big tournaments where I could, um, prove myself over and over. I could just couldn't travel. I was super young. Uh -huh. And so... Genesis 8 was one of the first times where I was able to travel by myself, go to Genesis. Like, bro, I was like, dude, I'm going to Genesis. I've never yeah, been to Genesis. Yeah, the Super Bowl. The, the Super Bowl. I was so, I was just so excited to to do that and be there. Because, uh, I, like I said, I didn't have that many chances. I was still in school, working at Starbucks. So, for me, it was the, oh, my God, I can't wait to show up and play. Even if you get top 64, you know, I've said this in the car, but, like, even even top 64 would have been, like, I'd still be grinning ear to ear on the way home about it. And you got second. And then I got second, <laughs> which is, I mean, that's pretty good. I owe it. I mean, it's why I'm on this couch right now. Like that one, that, that, that one day is, is why I'm, why I'm here and why I'm, why PP is my manager. Is <laughs> watch this. I've been watching him since I was like in middle school, dude. And it's a, it's an insane full circle. So do you remember the first time meeting each other? Was it, at an event or we met in the bathroom at evo 2016 because <laughs> i was a filthy little dog kid and i at the time i came in and i was like so oh, so pb good luck man i don't remember this at all no of course not. Uh, i was just one of many yeah i think the first time we ever met and i like knew who you were was like maybe like a year ago or something Right, like. Well, we met officially after you knew about me. It was one of the summit point fives. It was the point five where you oh. showed up, and we did that like two stock bracket, 
and we were going, we were going to play. Yeah, we were going to play, and then um, the bracket started. But, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we, okay. But we have met years years ago. But okay. Also, if you look in that 2016 doubles bracket, if Jake had won two of his matches, then we would have actually played in 2016 in winners' quarters of doubles. Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah. We wanted to play you guys. So yeah, th- we were actually close to like crossing paths early. I feel like there's so many, at least in our conversations together, so many butterfly effect type beats like oh, that. Oh, for sure. Like uh, even at Genesis, like you were talking about how like, oh, if like this uh, this particular uh, series like went a different way, like I don't know if I'd be sitting here. Like wh- which one was that? It was literally a, like a, a roll from ledge versus versus lot it was game five last dock and had i mistimed if i pressed the shoulder run just a, like a few like a second too late oh i would have gotten spiked i probably would have died and less than a second but yeah yeah definitely less less than a second second and i would be i don't know probably be, <laughs> probably be in new york right now if i didn't press that which isn't too bad of a place to be but like so it seems like you both are newly adjusting to living California or not California, like Southern California. Cause you moved like in the past year, year and a half. Yeah. Year, I, yeah. I was living up in the Bay. I, I, I would say I'm acclimated now, okay. but uh, I'm getting used to living like next to Jake oh, yeah, <laughs> as yeah. well. Cause we live like, I don't know. We live like atrociously four five close. minutes away from each other. Yeah. That's sick. It's cause like at least me as a newcomer, felt like you guys had like a repertory like oh these guys are like buds like where do i fit into this friend group and then i feel like the car ride kind of like solidified it for us <laughs> yeah for sure yeah yeah in we're, your we're opinion boys, dude are we, are we friends we're absolute yeah. boys we're yeah. boys now yeah. Yeah. And hey we got you we got you entering a melee local dude oh uh, uh, yeah and you're, I, telling, you're in i need to watch some more videos and practice for that i need i'm still like sure walking you. down my main uh i don't know if it's like bm to Sorry, for, for viewers, the context of my melee knowledge is uh, I would play at family parties um, and I would main Kirby. So I'd mix people in that, but I guess the competition was like my seven-year-old cousin. So. Yeah, so mm-hmm. who are you going to play tonight? I don't know, Dad. I got to watch more videos. I'm not sure if we're still seated against each other, but... Uh, uh, I hope not. I, I, uh, I actually... What's it? Uh, Kevin's girlfriend, Anna... <laughs> was like was like yo you're in your melee era because i like when you sign up it like tweets yeah for you. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and i was just like check out who my who, who my round one is yeah you know what's funny about go, this dude. is uh if i'm a to i don't catch that we're from the same organization because you put fly which is proper i put fly quest which is improper uh, and uh i'm not sure if they're gonna put two and two together you you might have to swing your uh senior uh, player status. Yeah, yeah. Actually, can you just click on the event link because I think uh, this is unseated right now. It's you, un- you could you could scroll up and, and click the the tweet that oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. I also just registered today, so they might they're probably going to. Oh yeah, I'm it sure there's going to do there a bunch of reseeding because I'm there's no way I'm going in unseated, Andrew. <laughs> they're going to seed me. Yeah. They're going to give me a buy. Am I not uh, logged in here? Uh, you're good. You're good. Just go down right here and then click on melee singles on on events right there. And then uh, go ahead, cl- uh, click on bracket right there. You should be good. All right, so we Let's got see. JMuck unseated there. right now. JMuck Let's see this. This is all bad. Oh, I'm, yeah. check me out. I'm seated above Jake. Right. I'm playing Caster above you, oh, dude. It doesn't matter, dude. You're, you're seated above Jake. <laughs> oh my god. Good <laughs> shit. Good shit, dude. Look at that. You dude, play you Casper, yo, yo, Anthony. Don't. It's not gonna know what kind of smoke you're getting into. <laughs> I, uh, I can probably get a read on Casper because he's going to carpool with us. I guess for the viewers' context, we are going to... We're going to carpool again to Mango in Progress. I was saying Melee in Progress in the office earlier, and Kevin had to correct me over and over again. Yeah, it used to be called Melee in Progress. And, yeah, it, and even the, the, the tournament is still on StarGG called Melee in, Melee in Progress, but it's since been changed to Mango in Progress. So uh, what, what do we have to do to convince you to not play Kirby, dude? Uh, cause any, anything it's, I'm not, it's, I'll, I'll teach you, I'll, I'll give you the whole world, the whole shebang. But if you're starting with Kirby, I, I, I'm, I'm fully expecting to get mixed. Um, you will I, get mixed regardless of who you play, but I think, I think you have a fighting chance if you don't play Kirby. Not only that, but I think we need to start you off on your melee journey on the right foot. Okay. Okay. And I, appreciate uh, that. I, I think we are leading, we are failing you as boys. If we are allowing you to enter with Kirby yeah. for your first event, would you agree? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like you being like, 
you know what? I'm gonna get into track. I, I like. I want to get into running. And then you're like, well, actually, no. I'm gonna try doing it on one foot. I'm, oh. not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm okay, gonna, I'm gonna hold my left leg and I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bunny hop. Yeah, like let me try learning how to run by like only using one leg. <laughs> that's essentially yeah. what it is. I I I agree. Like uh, at least looking now at the knowledge that I have, like there's there aren't really great recoveries with Kirby. Um, I feel like people who play them are also like my competition, seven year olds who smash. Uh, they do the up B down B type B. Yeah. Um, so who would like if if, if there's a, if there's a new player like myself looking to get in competing, like who would you want to start out with? Okay, Jake, I'm gonna count to three and we're gonna say the character that he should play. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Sheep. Marth. <laughs> I knew. Okay. So <laughs> the so question was. Too. Yeah, of course, because our characters are great for starting off. Uh huh. Um. I think Fox and Falco is like a huge um, skill curve, like tech skill curve. They have to get like you have to spend like it takes months, dude. Like okay. I, I couldn't, I, I, I could, like when I first started, I couldn't even do like basic Fox Falco tech skill, like even like six months of you know getting the basics down. Hmm. Um, with Sheik and Marth, on the other hand, uh, they're slower characters. There's a lot more. You can focus more on fundamentals, RPS. Um, she got pretty. Easy combos. I mean, Marth. Yeah, she can Marth. I would say, um, Fox, Falco, maybe Falcon, but yeah, I think if you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot, if you start with like like my best friend, he. Um, do you know what wobbling is? Yes. Yeah. He's pro wobbler. Pro, pro wobbler. Pro wobbler. Pro wobbling right yes. here. You've interesting takes, dude. Pro pro wobbling, unfrozen stadium. Yeah. Yep. No widescreen. This guy's melee. favorite stage is unfrozen stadium, which is. Yep. Says yep. how says how old score you're. You probably, yep. you probably you're play CS league. like four three stretched. No, I play native. Oh shit. Okay, you're you're a mixed bag here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let, let me let me play this. Okay. <laughs> we'll let that run for like. Two and we're like. Someone shot at me. Or Rocky Poo. Yeah. You got ops? No. <laughs> Certainly don't. Okay, so check this out. This is something I've been wanting to do for super long. Okay, so we're in 2024 now, obviously. And I want us to make the three of us. I want the three of us to make a crew battle composed of five players to defeat the five gods. And and check this out. Yeah. But we cannot use any of those five gods. And uh -huh. all three of us have to win. So newly stepping into this carpool, I didn't know what to expect. And it got me thinking because I have a little little like thing of questions here. Um, do you have a favorite event that you travel to? Because it felt like going to this event, like it, it felt like a good land experience because you have to like leave your hometown or mm -hmm. le leave your like home and then you're staying in the hotel. I feel like. Uh, I've run into a lot of pro players in the past. Like, even if the LAN is, like, in their hometown, like, they can play from home, they still book a hotel to get, like, the full, like, LAN experience. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But do you, do you have, like, a, a favorite LAN that you've traveled for? You, you start, Kev. Uh, are we talking about one event or, like, an event series? Uh, one event. Like, uh, something that cemented as, like, a, a core memory. It could have been, like, when you were first starting or even recent. Yeah. Pat's uh, House 4. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not Pat's House 4. I think I'm going to have to go with Summit 1 or Summit mm. 2. Uh, yeah. Uh, those are amazing. Really iconic moment for doubles for me as well. Yeah. That was also another butterfly effect moment where there was like this 2v1 where Zach, my, my partner SFAT, he goes up against like two like top three players armada muta king he's never beaten any of them in singles and he beats both of them at the same time in grand finals in game five and it was miraculous it was unheard of he gets signed to clg the team that i was on like within three weeks yeah ripples it's crazy man yeah so i'm gonna have to go with that one i forget mm. if that was summit one or two i think that was summit one you got to be that that's when they they took place in the west covina right yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. West Covina. They they had us in like this big, big ass house on a hill, essentially just a summit. Yeah, and yeah. like it, it was it was it was paradise, dude.
Shout out the IE. Uh, I'm familiar with West Covina. Um, wh- when was your first summit? My first summit was May of 2022. It was summit 13 okay. by then. And you qualified through that Genesis run? Through Genesis, yeah. So not only did I get second in Genesis, but I also qualified for summit, which is like, was such a huge deal. Like summit, if, if we look at all the setbacks that we've had, everything that's been taken, like, like yeah, Golden Guardians no longer with us, um, Nintendo being Nintendo. Yeah. But do not having summit sucks. <laughs> it really does suck. Yeah. Summit was such a beacon of like Summit was an event. Like Summit was an event for the players, but for us, like, bro, I met my friends who were like, bro, Summit's on this weekend. We're gonna watch the whole thing. And we're gonna get shit faced. We're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna party, we're gonna watch, and we're just gonna game the whole weekend. It was it was a an event for both spectators and and competitors. And not having that alongside with like the skits, the content that came yeah. from it, it's such a huge setback. But Summit, um, yeah, it was awesome. The other thing about Summit is uh, they had Summit qualifiers throughout the year. Mm-hmm. So certain tournaments like Genesis, Gommel, fucking Big House, those would all be Summit qualifiers. It elevated the event and, ele- and yeah. made, made certain matches that were like just riddled throughout the tournament to be like really high stakes matches. Like, oh, yeah. like if this person loses here, then they're going to have to run into their bracket demon for the Summit qualifier. Mm-hmm. And so they have to win this match and then they end up losing the match. Like, oh, they're going to play in the Summit qualifier for the yeah. grudge match, you know? And like it just it raised the stakes for everything like all the time. Mm hmm. There's a lot of iconic sets or people getting in like that you never, never would have, would have expected. Well, wasn't it like, didn't Dreffen beat? Dreffen beat Kalindi. Yeah. KJ. I remember that. For uh, a very sad Summit qualifier. Yeah. But yeah. Dude. Yeah. Because I, I would follow Summit through CS. And yeah. CS Summit. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it is kind of like with BTS, like pretty much being like a... a they're, they're all over at, uh, off brand now, right? Or yes. Okay. So yeah, like I, I wonder. I, I feel like they're kind of making a resurgence in Summit events, even if Summit doesn't officially exist. Um, like with like Ludwig has like a couple of different events. Yeah. So So I'm, I'm curious to see what the future is like for that style, because I, I kind of catch it in their streams. So I was just like, yeah, this is this is like almost the juice that I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would really love for Ludwig to like have Ludwig Summit or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Because um, those were literally the best events, and like uh, they, I, I would say Summit accomplished what no other like entity had accomplished. Being like they came into the space, super authentic. Mm-hmm. Everyone loved them. Not a single bad thing to say about the product or anything like that. Uh, aside from maybe like some voting loophole bullshit, that, yeah. you know. But but that is what it is. Uh, but like they immediately came in. Instantly trusted, we instantly love them, and like they're just like part of Smash history. Love it. So uh, I guess in that tier where Summit would have would bring like Summit qualification would put importance on like other tournaments that you played. Where does Pat's house, like where we travel to, kind of set in terms of uh, like importance? Importance. Like, like uh, is it a qualifying event? Like what what is the origin of Pat's house? Uh, or, or origin and importance, I guess. Uh, origin of Pat's House, I think it was just like a pretty small San Diego event that was hosted at someone's house, and his name happened to be Pat, and I didn't see him at Pat's House 4, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that happened the first two times, like eight-ish years ago, maybe more. Uh, and then Pat's House 3 like became much bigger Uh and or sorry i think that's when pat's pat's house three was the one that was like eight years ago but pat's house one i think was like even even longer ago uh in terms of importance for pat's house four i wouldn't say it was the most important tournament it's like one of the bigger regionals but uh you know it it wasn't like a super major yeah we had people like from like mexico coming over like like far yeah yeah that's always when the big socal like Pat's House, I would consider it like a super regional. Uh-huh. Like there's regionals, super regionals is when you get. I mean, there were a lot. It was the term was very top heavy. Yeah. But yeah, SoCal, those kind of big terms, you always see people come up like Eddie. You know, it was in Tijuana. A lot of the uh, the Mexican Smash scene, they all come up, and they're still they're still super good. They just can't come out as much to the bigger 
events. Yeah, it is kind of a trek. But that, it was cool to meet everyone there. Like, uh, especially as like my first like melee event, uh, it it felt very welcoming and all that. And uh, we even got to like shoot some content, which had a lot of fun time with. Like, uh, you mind if I play this video? Go for it. Yeah. Be a slippy ranks tier list. There's so much wrong here. Every Roy player is actually terrible. <laughs> what, what rank are you? Slippy. I have not played a rank game. Okay. Yet. I'm you. a bit of a net play hater if you know anything about me. Oh, oh, oh. That was the TO. Where it just says, oh, oh, escape George. when you see him. Why is he actually good? Our tier list is so bad. Yeah, this is uh, it's horrible. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. What do you think of this? Why is Yoshi still there? <laughs> There's a lot wrong with this. There's so yeah, we, we we will be dropping this pretty soon. Like I think in the past, like you've just had to really mainly focus on competing, right? How did how did it feel to actually have to do content during? Well, not have to. Well, I mean, it was my job to do it. You did have to. Mm -hmm. I did have to. Mm -hmm. it, was it a drag? You're like, oh man, this video. Okay. I enjoyed it. I actually liked having something to do on the side besides competing. Like if there's like a secondary thing, even if it's like you know going outside, throwing frisbee, doing doing whatever, it's nice. So it was, it was actually was a nice. Uh, escape, you know. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, even though people. I don't think people know what they're talking about. They 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 shouldn't have interviewed me. I'll be like, yo, where do we put Kirby? <laughs> nah. But even you would know better than Sal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We would trust. I would. I'd much rather have you than some of the. Yeah, I, uh, there was some bullshit. There was definitely some bullshit. People were uh, being very emotional. Uh, that's all I'll say. Yeah, I saw Roy and Yoshi get moved around. Well, well, we'll save it for like when people actually get to watch the video. But yeah, at least being behind the lens, I was just like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be like, okay, yeah. so uh, you have to change character. And I see them pick up Roy moving. I'm like, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> or is it well, let's go past it here. So, okay. So this is a meme in the community. Um yeah, it, it, unfortunately, it's, it's like half meme, <laughs> but half like this is your process. So, like, yeah. what are you, what are you doing in this clip? Uh, as, you, as you can see, I'm preparing to get destroyed by Mango, as in meditating. Well, where yeah, where's your head at? Uh, I had so I listened to this this drone sound. It's like I forgot which hertz, like 40, 40 hertz. Oh, it's a certain frequency. It's a certain frequency that's like. You know, there's probably pseudoscience, whether it's real or not. Um, it just helps me calm down. It tunes out the crowd, noise canceling headphones, and just sitting down, meditating for 10, 15 minutes. I find that I play best when I'm very relaxed, still focused, mm -hmm. um, minimal energy. Even like when I, even when I sit my water, I'm not like ramming it. Everything is gentle with a purpose. That's when I play best. Uh -huh. But sometimes even that, like you'll meditate and you pop up and you're like. Oh wait, I, I'm still not ready. I still don't feel. Uh, I still don't feel there. So, it's just a habit of mine. Unfortunately, it's become a bit, which is which is funny because it's just something that I do. Like I don't consider myself the, yeah, you know, I'm not the meditation. I'm not the meditation guy. I'm just uh, a guy who meditates. You know, but I fuck with it. Like, uh, bit or not, I think it. It's kind of like tongue in cheek. Like, uh, like. I I saw it like for the first time and I was just like okay yeah like he's trying to get into his flow state like he's a mm -hmm. competitor. This guy games. Uh if you had to put it on a scale from 1 to 10 your ideal physical tension going into a set with Mango where would it be? We're going to say oh, oh. someone's physical tension if it was a 1 it's like they're a soccer player. You know, you got to be running around all the time, yeah. loose and whatnot. 10 is like an Olymp Olympic lifter where you have to be super tense in order to yeah. complete your task. You know you got to play a best of five with Mango going into it. Scale from 1 to 10, physical tension. What's the ideal spot? Literally the lowest number. Like whatever number is string cheese. Like if my body was... If my body was <laughs> I don't gentle, agree. You, you don't think so? I no, think I think there's a specific amount of... Effort, because like yes, you're physically inputting. If you play too relaxed, there's like a there's like a balance of um, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a better yeah there's a balance of like effort and concentration. But I find I play best when I'm literally so relaxed that I could just the controller could just fall on my hands. That's crazy. Yeah. So so one to ten, let's say let's say one is doing nothing. I'd say I'd I'd be sitting at a solid three. What the fuck? Yeah. That's not normal. I, well, keep in mind, dude. I I play chic. 
No, you Sheik, play. Sheik is, no, you are faster than like almost every single player. So that's bullshit. Yes, you play Sheik, but yeah, but you that's can be crazy. You, you can be fast and be very. You can be fast and relax. Like Sheik, we we're talking about this in the car. Sheik is, um, in terms of like tension, like. I feel like if I were to play Fox or Falco in tournament, then yeah, I'd probably be sitting at like a, a four or five. But like Sheik as a character is not, uh, I want to crush you. I want, I, to, operate, I want to destroy you. I operate at like a six and a half to seven. Yeah, you're very, you're very emotive player. You, yeah, I you know. Get, you get gamer lean. Yeah, yeah, I do get gamer lean. Okay, okay. The other side of the coin, uh, this is a weird, people are going to take this a weird way, but emotional arousal, like you're, you're, how activated your brain is one being you're doing nothing and like reading a book 10 you're like uh you're doing the sats or some shit. i don't know mm -hmm. you know you're or you're, you're just like really locked in for, yeah. for some kind of task you guys are know, activated one, in one the sat 10. absolutely i've never been activated this never in my life and for for tests okay sat is a bad a bad one uh okay yeah what what for for fighting mango, what's what's the what's the ideal spot for you mentally? Also, the lowest number possible. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I have to be. So you just want to feel nothing? Yeah, I want to. I want to feel like I'm watching myself. I'm uh, like, I'm like, if I'm fighting mango, seven tension, mm -hmm. seven or eight arousal. So you want to be off a of bean? You, know, you, you want to be off a of bean and and just mm, you feel every every. Every fair, every uh, uh, not your not body, necessarily. But. I mean, I'm letting I'm letting the experience pass through my body and shit. But mm -hmm. I'm uh, but I'm I'm doing my best to like, you know, really like seize the moment. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that's I think that's that's honestly just the nature of playstyle differences and sure. how we arrive because everyone arrives at their peak differently yeah um yep. some players i like i think of moki for instance like moki moki is very good at feeding into that not like i don't want to say negative energy but just energy of like i need to prove myself right here and now like he, he, he feeds off of that he listens to the music he gets pumped up you can see it in the player camp and he plays better he plays better i can't do every time that i've been like like Head head down, being like I'm like I'm going to win this. I'm going to do it. I always some something happens and it doesn't go my way. It's just not my style. Um, I wish I could do that. I wish I could, you know, get a little mad and, you know. Where were you at this? So you, uh, you're trying to go to the yeah, like the last stock of yeah, Genesis. Yeah, yeah, go, go to the end. Go to the end. So right here, this is the this this was the moment where I was like. This last doc, I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm about I'm about to win Genesis. I'm about to win fucking Genesis. It only clicked in at like the last moment of the set because Cody and I we've played a lot. Yeah. And when you get super locked in in tournament and you're facing away from the crowd, they they start fizzling away in your head. They don't. Yeah, take you a said lot it of, sounds like rain. They, like the crowd, yeah, the cheer in the crowd. It sounds like rain. Like those people, they don't even. They just they just happen to be there. Like we're playing melee here. They just happen to show up and they just happen to ride, to be in that same space as us. Yeah. But what's what's in front of me is what's most important. And I think that this last stock, I, I was like, right no way. There's there's just no way. A, just He's one hit is gonna win me a super major. That's that's and yeah. I'll never feel anything. And like then from this. here, it transforms from the individual experience, group experience. Like everyone's just fucking. That's that seems like so much dope. Oh, it was ton of dopamine. It was like the highest. It was probably the highest I've ever felt because like that pop off was like the culmination of all the second places that I had. Um, and not even a year. Like the last Genesis, I was just I was just like a no name, and I get second. Um, you hug your boy out of respect. Yeah, because we we have we have similar roots. Hold up, okay, full screen it again. Full screen it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back a little bit. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a spot, probably right here. I need to see the missed up smash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, okay. Let's find the missed up smash. It was really. Oh, okay. it was not it's, in there. It's not. It's not in there. When when you miss the up smash, like, where where does that? 
tension, physical tension and, and the mental arousal. Like how how many points up does it spike? It spikes up a little bit. Because, like, you know, I want to end a super major with a tip or up smash. Yeah, but you also want to end the super major. And yeah. Now it's extended. Yeah. So, I, so I caught myself. I was like, I was like, damn, I'm, I'm, why, why would I do? Like, I, I thought of that in my head, and so I had to, um, amp myself up a little bit. Just be like, okay, no, no, no funny business. Like, this is, yeah, you're gonna regret this for the rest of your life if you, if you start messing around and playing with your food. But yeah, I was shook. <laughs> <laughs> so okay 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 uh kevin was talking about this match like the crowd was kind of rooting against you uh yeah you're playing against uh tempo storm axe right mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the lore behind that behind axe uh at, at least why, why was the crowd like cheering more so for axe um or? because axe now well not just axe but pikachu 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 is, is slowly falling out of relevancy mm -hmm. uh it's really hard in this meta for Pika to keep up. Still has some stuff, some stuff. There's still players that are representing the character. But yeah, it's it's Pika is just really, really hard right now. And so there's this added pressure on Axe because um, you know, he's been kind of falling here and there. Doesn't uh you know, I, I I literally just think it's not because he's getting worse. Like he's still he's coming up with new ideas, it's just not enough. Mm -hmm. Um so I think for this set you know, easy matchup for Sheik, kind of a, you know, I'm not super great at the matchup, but it's, I'm, I'm solid enough where I can, I can get by at least for now. So it's that on top of Axe kind of being an underdog, um, Pikachu. And yeah, I think it's mostly just people want to see the upset because I'm no longer the, like I'm more established now. Like I'm, yeah. you know, I'm no longer the underdog. So now anyone, anyone who has, takes a game or even a close set with me, the crowd is going to get, um, into it. I see. It's like after rappers drop like their breakout album and then they get a little success, a little clout. And then you're like, you know, like the, like before you go into your software album, they're like, you're not real hip hop anymore. Like you change. Yeah. You switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think, I, I, I think you're still very much to your core here still axe is also just a crowd favorite oh yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely he's such a crowd favorite mm -hmm. and we're on the west coast jake's jake's people are, are on the east you know yeah so at least at least for now i mean i'm mingling with the oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah. the, the yeah. socal belt yeah your, but your new blood um, here in, in socal yeah axe is mostly a crowd favorite yeah. one because he's playing pikachu dude and he's still he's still at it like he's the father of pika and he's just a nice dude. Yeah, and, he, he, and a sweetheart. He seemed like a, he seemed like a nice dude. Uh, let's see. So this is going into your next match. I think Kevin talks about the the more skilled players doesn't always win the sheep ditto. Uh oh, we're putting that in the video. We we can cut this out. And spark. So this is like a 50-50 type beat. It's not a 50-50. The better players should win. Okay. But the grab is so explosive that like it doesn't matter like for for a large part of the game plan. So oh, she told me that before, played him. You knew that. No, I didn't know it, but but less. So uh, this is playing against Kevin's protege, Zade. Which I, I fun enough, I didn't know that you raised Zade as a melee ad. nurse. Yeah, kid. when when he finished high school and he was dominating like the high school players, which mm -hmm. is not shit, and. Uh, then he comes to the college that I'm at and we're playing all the time. We're playing like weekly, mm -hmm. I'm playing all my characters against him. You know, I'm so I don't like to do lessons, like review people's VODs. I rather do the old school one where we just play a fuck ton of games. I'm going to expose you for doing the shitty things that you do. And I'm going to laugh at you while we're doing it. And mm -hmm. I'm going to beat it out of you. And that's exactly what we did. And yeah. you became such a better player. I wouldn't say it's like the typical, like, like sensei had a one relationship. It was more so like, I'm here to give you like all the experience that you can get. Yeah. Like, like while you're here. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. I see. And uh, what level of activation were you at during this particular set? <laughs> Um, here. It was activation. I think I was at a state where I might have been not activated enough, or at least not in tune enough to take control back. It felt like I, well, yeah, that's that's the problem with being too relaxed or too, mm. um, 
with little activation is that sometimes like yeah you you can play better under pressure but when you need to pick yourself up it's hard to suddenly switch and get into this more tense uh mindset because then it's just like oh i'm just watching myself lose get chain grabbed over and over and and then by then the fact like once you have to switch once you have to switch yourself in the, in the middle of the set it's either gonna go really good or you're just gonna start snowballing i see next time that you play zade uh okay so well Han, before i even ask that zade his game plan is to ruthlessly unapologetically savagely fish maybe not fish but he builds everything around the grab you yeah. know absolutely everything and and he's gonna do it relentlessly uh at what point do you like meet him in that strategy like at what point do you both build your game plan around getting this grab as opposed to like trying to like space them out like yeah. picking the stages that like mitigate the chain grab and stuff like at mm -hmm. what point do you just be like you know what like this is your main strategy and it's also going to be my main strategy and and like we're going to go at it when does jay look fight dirty yeah the problem is that that game plan that he has is it's super solid it's really really good it's why he doesn't really get upset and against, it's good for him as a player and it's also good good him. That's just that's just how he rolls so um, my game plan isn't that fleshed out enough to to fight back and forth on a similar plane. It's more so me finding holes, like very right. very small holes in his game plan, where just catching one suddenly I get the grab. So it's less about like you know because he plays more ha platform heavy, he plays around the corners, very good at getting the grab, but also better at avoiding the grab. But after a while, if you play like that, one lunge forward. Um, the grab on the other cheeks end can just d deny that. So I think it's much, it's less about um, fighting back in spots where he feels more confident and more so finding needles in the, in the haystack kind of thing. Mm. These small openings that most likely lead to grab. And if it leads to grab, then it's, it's probably good. For sure. I needed to know because I'm not a sheep player. There, yeah. there is no, there is no matchup like that for Marth. So I had no way of knowing yeah you know? this is moving the needle for me i was thinking about either maining roy or chic tonight maybe leaning more to chic chic okay i got you dude chic or marth honestly you can flip a coin either one i think that's a great starting this character i'm with it i'm with it oh okay so here's another thing uh there's a lot of media going on uh post event yeah like, shout out to coney coney 20xx Feels like we're at some high school. Yeah, maybe it's the lockers. Wait, is it kind of like a? Kevin, you would call you high school there. Yeah, yeah, I look like I got my little lunch. This is like the first esport where I've met players and competitors who are like so down to like being content like this. Like, mm -hmm. uh, is it just like another opportunity to kind of like further melee as a space contribute, or like why why is there so much less pushback from melee players to do content? So much uh, less pushback. Yeah, less pushback. Saying that people, we need to be more on top of it. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, like, uh, so like, when I would like, I, I've come from like different games. Like, I covered like League, like CS, um, like COD mm -hmm. mainly, and like whenever like trying to queue people up for content, they're just like, oh man, I can't believe I have to do this. But like with melee, everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm down. Like, get me in front of this camera. Like, case yeah. in point, like when we did the tier list video. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, get me in front of this. I'd say it's the it's the product of melee esports being relatively cheap, meaning that um, you know to sign a Smash player, you you, you sign one person, you sign a CS team, you get you gotta get you know players, coaches, analysts, whatever. Um, there's a lot more people involved, a lot more planning. With a do kind of a Smash player, you just when are you free? When like do you have time outside? Quick interview. So I think it's very, I think that's why it's so lax is, is because you're only, we're only, we're essentially responsible for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a lot easier just to come up to one person rather than um, plan for a team to come out and you got to cater food to them and, you know, and all that. So the other thing is like, I think uh, Smash players are really big on their brands because they know in order to get noticed, you need to have a strong personal brand. Yeah. And like, 
the the best smash the the best and most accomplished smash players are all hustlers every single one of us absolutely hustlers uh and like i think the fact that we also represent ourselves uh there's no like diffusion of responsibility you know you have a team of five counter-strike players oh let me get one of you and it's like oh you're singling me out like, uh, you know yeah. that kind of thing uh but for smash players like we know that personality sells and yeah. it's like the most important thing for for getting noticed from like the outsiders and that kind of like ideology has carried over for like 10 years from from the time that like smash players were getting signed mm -hmm. let's see which is why we're doing content like this true true we, we've reached Very our true. time i appreciate okay. you gentlemen for taking the time to talk like this i i was kind of worried we wouldn't have much to talk about but we were we were yapping you, you, you guys do like be, to be, do be yeah, but i mean just like in the, just in the car dude you just going about melee we won't show up good to hear you because you're you've been you've been around the block you've, oh absolutely you're, you're born on these streets yeah dude. and and like if you put a bunch of smash players in a room together uh eventually they're just gonna start fucking yapping about smash and that's mm -hmm. that's just how it goes and there's like so many different things that you could talk about and me personally being from like old generation and i'm kind of like over the hill now i love picking people's brain like you know yeah. oh, where where were you at mentally here you know like what what was the decision here what was the change in emotions xyz i love that stuff mm -hmm. hopefully we can get more people on the couch uh with this setup um like let us know in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this because we in true melee fashion don't own this equipment and we are borrowing it so but let us borrow it more often yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to yeah. use our resources yeah, let, yeah whoever let comes it on. uh we're we're gonna cut to whatever we shoot at mango in progress now um but if you guys want to say anything to the cameras to the fans who are watching right now uh take it away i'm gonna win the event first place kevin toy second place jake mook Check the start GG, Melee in Progress, aka Mango in Progress 42. I'll make the upset. Thank you. All right. Well, first place, J Mook. Second place, Andrew, aka Video Guy, <laughs> aka FlyQuest Video Guy, aka the the youngest rising day zero chic we've ever seen. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm confirmed I'm going to run chic tonight. Oh, you know, we could have made this in a TikTok. Have you seen the TikTok trend? It's like, no. like, uh, it's like, when friends go to the club together, like, how many guys are you going to talk to tonight? How many girls are you talking to tonight? 10,000. Where do you think you're going to place in tonight's event? I've seen this. I've seen this. Yeah. I, oh, and it shows. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They did an ultimate one. I know. I know. 90 seconds ago, I just said first place. But realistically, I've played this guy enough to know that I'm not going to get first place. I'm going to get fourth today. Cheers. Yeah, you'll have to go through Andrew, dude. All right, Jake. Where do you think you're going to place today? Uh, uh, probably first. <laughs> and then we cut to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to hope it's like 9th to like 17th. I, I'm probably not going to be even let into the venue. Thank, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Light guys. up the comments so my boss green lights more of these.